Yo, I just climbed out a hole that was so deep. Have you ever seen a rose grow from a concrete? Guys, what is key and essential that everyone should know in regards to healthcare is how to read a lab report. Whether if you are healthy and you go to the doctor once a year, if you have been diagnosed with some type of chronic condition and you go to the doctor routinely, may that be every quarter, may that be every month, or it could be every two weeks or every week. You need to know how to read your lab report. Breakdown is based on Quest Diagnosis Lab. This is what my oncologist uses. The thing I like about Quest is that they break down what each test is for, give you some health information, and also break down the range where your test results should be. Also what they do is if you tend to go pretty often, you can see a trending report on how your numbers fluctuate throughout a certain period of time. Let's get started. This particular test is based on iron and total iron binding capacity. The reason for me getting this particular test is because after treatment, I usually do have some fatigue that lasts up to about a week. But last month, I was basically fatigued for the entire month. Um, not only did I have treatment, but I also battled a stomach virus and that probably took me down even longer but I definitely wanted to get my iron levels checked. And this is something that my oncologist did not check regularly. And I definitely wanted to find out if my iron levels were low and that could have actually been another reason why I felt fatigued. So whenever you do receive a Quest Diagnosis report, you get a ton of information with that. So as you can see here, for my total iron, it is showing that I am low, hence the red at 25. It does have a reference range, which shows you where your level should be. So that range is anywhere between 40 and 190 MCGs. Um, also, the saturation levels for me is low as well. I'm at a 6, and it should be between 16 and 45%. My This is a key thing that I like about Quest Diagnosis as far as educating the patient on what certain tests mean. As far as iron binding capacity, you can see here that it gives you a little breakdown when you click on the question mark. And it says that the iron is best interpreted with the total iron binding capacity, TIBC, reflects the total capacity of the blood to carry iron. The percent saturation is the ratio of the iron to TIBC. It is a reflection of remaining capacity to carry iron. For each individual test, you can click on the green question mark and it actually gives you information on what it means. So that is key. So even if you have no clue on what iron is, what does iron do for the body? Well, Quest actually helps you out instead of having to get on a separate page and Google that information it is all right here so you can actually educate yourself and maybe a light bulb will go off and say oh okay now i understand what iron does for my body i understand if my iron is low this is the reason why or could be a reason why i am tired um, maybe it is a hereditary issue where your parents and maybe your siblings and so forth have also had iron issues. And of course, that can either be healed with food and diet, or it could be something else outside of tests that you see here that needs to be done to figure out why your iron is actually low. 
As far as with me, just to give you guys a example, my hemoglobin numbers have always been low. They were low before I started getting chemo and they have continued to be low um, during chemo sessions. I have attempted to be on track with taking a iron supplement. I try to get in spinach um, and other things that are high in iron, but for some reason I cannot get my numbers to be in the range where they should be. I avoided doing an iron supplement just because they are actually known for making you constipated. And on top of that, chemo can make you constipated or it can make you have diarrhea. You kind of just go back and forth. I really didn't want to do anything to irritate my digestive system more. Um, but I'm at the point now to where this target chemo that I am on now, I'm basically forced to have to get on some type of iron supplement if I want to feel any better at all, which is what I'm actually going to be doing. And with this, I can track, okay, my numbers on this particular day, which was 1125. When I got the test results for this iron, and I started taking a supplement or actually now I will be taking a prescription iron pill. I can track to see if the iron pill is actually helping me and also keeping track of any kind of side effects that I am having. So this is an example on how to read a basic test result for iron.